What's going on YouTube, it's Jason again with JJ Drones and today we have a special guest with us. Carl Marx has made it all the way up from uh, Gurney, Illinois. So thanks for coming up, Carl. You're welcome. And uh, we're gonna actually be working on this uh, Bighorn RV that uh, I bought um, about three or four weeks ago. And uh, I'm gonna show you that here in a couple of uh, seconds. But uh, the underbelly of this trailer needs to be completely replaced. Um, but uh, Carl was nice enough to come up and give me a hand. So thank you very much for coming up, sir. And uh, let's get into this video. Okay, guys, so I am on my way over to Home Depot right now. Carl is coming and I want to have all of the supplies that we're gonna need to repair the underbody of the trailer tomorrow. So let's go down to the Home Depot and we will get all the supplies. Hopefully we're not gonna have to do too many trips back to the store tomorrow. So let's get to the store and uh, I'll bring you along for the shopping trip. guys so we got the corrugated plastic that's gonna go underneath the trailer um, I went and I measured and it seems like these will fit what we're trying to do now let's go get some insulation and a few other things okay so we've got uh, three rolls of this insulation we've got the corrugated plastic and I picked up some great stuff foam just to fill in any sort of gaps or cracks um, I've got a few things left on my list. Uh, PB Blaster. Um, let's see here. PB Blaster, hose insulation, wire ties, some double sided tape. I got a bunch of other stuff, so stay with me, guys. guys I know it looks like it's a huge mess right now but this is the stuff that I'm going to use for the underbelly of the trailer and uh, we're gonna go check out and uh, see what the damage is on this okay guys so we have a grand total of four hundred sixty dollars and eighty seven cents that's all the stuff hopefully we're gonna need to do this project uh, like I said Carl is gonna be coming tomorrow and when he comes he's gonna be bringing some of his tools and things to help out but uh, hopefully we have to bring some stuff back because that's going to be an expensive project, but still going to be cheaper than doing it all over at the dealership. So stay with me. All right, guys, here comes the first set of screws. I've got PB Blaster if I need it. Oh, these are different size. Of course they would be. Great. Um... This is a half, oh, that's why. I've got my half inch bit on here. Oh, you need the three eighths? Yeah, I need that three eighths. Trade you. Yep. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. You ever wondered to see 
the underbelly of a trailer. There's the fresh water tank right there. And then all these cables and wires and everything. And I'll just kind of hang in there. But uh, we got the first section of the underbelly off. Now we just have to get the other section off. Okay guys, so here is the full underbelly of the trailer and we don't see anything under here that is currently leaking. Um, there's obviously leakages from the past, but <coughs> we do have all of the underbelly taken out. Now they did put in a support piece of lumber right there that you can see, but uh, everything else looks pretty good under here. Uh, there are some spots where there is some residual fluid and I'm gonna try and get a rag, try and wipe some of that down. But other than that, we're gonna tidy up some of the wiring in here and uh, I'll give you a, I'll let you take a look when we get done getting all that done. All right, guys, so I'm underneath the trailer right now. We've got everything secured up. We've even uh, insulated the drain tube for the fresh water tank. Um, we, Carl took a lot of time to make sure that uh, the brake, because this is electrical brakes, this was just kind of hanging there. And uh, I wanted to make sure that we weren't going to run into a problem where we hit a, a rock or something and the rock hits the brake line. So he actually reinforced that with electrical tape. But uh, we secured all of the electrical and everything that we could see that needed to be secured. And now we are getting ready to put all of the plastic with the insulation on underneath so the next time that you see this it's going to be all buttoned up okay guys i'm sorry to report that uh, we weren't able to finish the project tonight it is now 10 40 in the morning and i know you can't see me but it's 10 40 in the morning carl is up taking a shower i'm going to go home carl's actually going to spend the night in the trailer so um, he's pretty lucky for doing that but uh um, we're going to get up in the morning early and we're going to reconvene and try and finish this project. So stay with us. Morning YouTube. It is 6 o'clock in the morning and uh, I'm heading back up to my dad's. <laughs> he just texted me to let me know that Carl is up. And uh, so I'm heading up there and we're going to try and finish putting the panels on the bottom of the trailer and then I have a meeting that I have to go to at 11 but then uh, I'll come back and finish the duct tape work and uh, fill any of the gaps with the great stuff but uh, yesterday was a long day we made a lot of mistakes that we had to go back and fix uh, but that's what happens when you do something new for the first time and uh, it was not fun to wake up this morning but uh, I'm gonna head up there and try and get this thing done so stay with me it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a challenge but uh, I hope it's a challenge we can complete okay guys so I just dropped off Carl at the house he uh need to get home but uh, this is what the underbelly is looking like now it's actually looking a lot better now I have to trim off this side and then I have to uh, 
tape up all of the seals on here or the seams I should say but uh, the other thing we have to do is we still have our sewer hose hanger holder and then the spare tire they have to go back on so we're gonna get that all done and then uh, take it for a test drive see how it rides but the hard part is done now let's get to work and finish up the rest Okay guys, so it is day three on this project. Um, sorry I didn't really get uh, much yesterday, but uh, it just got super involved and uh, I couldn't operate the camera and do the work that I was trying to do. So I apologize for that. Plus there was a lot of wind, but uh, as you can see, I got some of this great stuff in here to fill in the, in the gaps and I'm not worried about how this looks I'm just happy that it's done the other thing we noticed yesterday is that this was just kind of hanging so I put a screw in there but uh, yeah I'm gonna have a lot of cleanup to do after I'm done here And then we had a thunderstorm come in last night. And it's been windy as heck up here. But I do believe that this is going to be the finished product of the trailer underbelly. The only thing that I do have to do is take this for a test drive. And I'm gonna go, I don't know, around 10 to 15 miles or so and then bring it back and see if everything holds that's that's the biggest thing we haven't moved this thing since we started doing all this so we're going to test it we're going to see if everything holds and if everything does then i'm going to put it where it belongs uh, for the meantime because Haley and i plan on using this trailer one more time before the end of this camping season and uh over here is the old underbelly and it uh, needs to go to the dump but uh, we'll take care of that later also i have some things that has to go back to home depot as well um, the nice thing about this also is that the batteries have held up perfectly so that i can raise and lower the nose of the trailer so that it could work from the back to the front uh, more easily. But uh, stay tuned and uh, we're gonna get this trailer on the road. I'm checking the air pressure in the tires and uh, this is a portable Milwaukee air compressor and it'll go up to about 160 psi but uh, this thing is fantastic it uh, works really fast and it works with the uh, batteries that I already have for my cordless drill so we're gonna air up the tires then we're going to get uh, this truck connected to the trailer and then uh, we're gonna hit the road and do our uh, road test all right guys we are hooked up here oh I 
There. I think I messed up. All right, so we got lights. We got brake lights, turn signal, turn signal, all those lights are working. Yeah, don't pinch off your, your electric cord. RVs don't seem to like that. All right. Oh, I'll take these with, because when we get back, we're probably going to be dropping it off in the grass. So let me gather all this stuff. Let me gather all this stuff, and then uh, we'll take it off for the test drive. Okay, so I've got the trailer connected. i got all the air and tires filled up. And uh, everything, all the lights are functioning. So we didn't hit any wires that would cause that to not function. So we're heading out for our first road trip with, well, not our first road trip, but a road test with the trailer. And when we get back to the house, we're gonna check and see how the underbelly withstood the uh, test. Now, it's not gonna be long. It's probably gonna be about 10 miles. We're gonna go right around Lake Antoine and then uh, go through town. And then we're gonna come back up Lake Antoine Road. And then when we finish the test, We'll check the underbelly, make sure everything stayed in place. And then uh, hopefully we'll be able to call it a day. That is the plan. Now it's supposed to rain around 11 o'clock. It's 9.30. So let's hope we can get this done before it starts raining. Um, I'm going to uh, do this test drive and then uh, I'll show you the results when we get back to my dad's house. So stay with me. Okay guys, so there it is. We have the trailer back. And now let's look at the underbelly and see. I don't see anything hanging. So after that 10 mile drive, Everything seems to have stayed in place. That is awesome. Let's come in the back. That is incredible. All right, so I'm gonna drop this trailer and then uh, go ahead and do the cleanup work over in front of the garage. And by the end of this video, I'm gonna list all of the things that I use to replace the underbelly on this trailer so that if you choose to do it, you can do it yourself.
All right, guys, well, that is the end of this project. I guess that's what we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it a project. Um, it was uh, Tuesday and Wednesday that I had Carl. Uh, Carl left around uh, 10 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. And then uh, I finished up doing the sealing of each and every one of the seals on the underbelly. And then I uh, took some great stuff and found any large gaps and I filled that up with the, the great stuff foam. So um, there shouldn't be any areas where critters can get in in the, in the winter time or, or even now uh, while we're not using it. And that was the purpose of doing that. Um, I do have some uh, self leveling um, uh, sealant for the roof of the RV and that's going to be another project that I do before I park it for the winter time and then I'm going to try and get with my friend Matt and uh, see if we can get that thing winterized as well. Um, not sure about the winterization but if we're able to do that I'm going to want to film that as well so maybe he can help some of you um, that are wanting to winterize an RV yourself. So, uh, what did it come to as far as uh, items that I needed to use? Well, we had the 13 panels of the corrugated plastic. Then we had three rolls of the uh, Gorilla Tape, the all-weather uh, permanent Gorilla Tape. That was kind of expensive, but uh, that stuff is uh, probably the stickiest Gorilla Tape that I've ever worked with. Um, then we also had uh, two rolls of the R14, I believe, uh, uh, Owens Corning insulation that we used to insulate the underbelly of the trailer. Uh, we wanted to upgrade it from what was in there, which was just one of those space sheet insulations. So um, I'm not really sure how that works, but uh, Anyways, we've got the upgraded insulation, we have the upgraded underbelly, and then I used uh, four cans. Yep, that's right. I used four cans of the Flex Seal uh, black uh, spray rubber. And uh, I, I went over every, I, I went over every seal with the Gorilla Tape, and then I went on top of that with the Flex Seal uh, in a can. Is that overkill? Maybe, um, but I'm gonna keep it there just because I want to have any sort of uh, water that could probably go in there while we're driving down the road out of there. Um, and we also went, and it, as you saw it, that I showed you earlier in the video, we uh, took what zip ties and we secured all the wiring in the trailer so that it would be out of the way. Um, and it, it looks a lot cleaner and uh, uh, a lot nicer actually. Um, but uh, total is right around $600 um, for everything that we had to do to replace it. And I only had to go to Home Depot six times, Yay! six times. So <laughs> I feel like that's a win for me because usually it's, you know, 10 to 12 times. Um, it's raining outside, so that's why we're in the garage, but uh, I just wanted to finish out this video. Um, if you appreciate the fact that I go through these links to try and do these videos for you guys, uh, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you can be not notified the next time I upload one of these stupid videos for YouTube because this was probably the dumbest thing I ever did. Um, in the retrospect, I probably would have been better off paying the $1,500 because of all of the uh, all of the work that went into it. But uh, you know, there's one part of the the things that I used that uh, I did not mention, and I can't thank Karl Marx enough for coming out and helping me. He drove over 250 miles to come up here and then uh, 250 miles back, uh, and he uh, used his vacation time to come help me. So, Karl Marx, thank you very much, and I hope that he starts his own YouTube channel at some point, because he's very knowledgeable and uh, is really good at working on vehicles. So, Karl, go start your own YouTube channel, because you would be amazing at it. Uh, and uh, he didn't talk much on this video, but, you know, he just wanted to get to work. But uh, as for now, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And, uh, you know, this couldn't have worked out any better because I have to get ready to go to work tomorrow. So thank you for coming along for this ride with me. And we'll see you later on down the road. Bye, everybody. Crazy.